Okay. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, Bante. Yes, Bante. Is it a whole thing? No doubt, you don't like to make that. Yes, and yeah, okay, yeah, we can go on then. Okay, now. Let us see the uh, canteen. Okay. Look at the stanza. Nidhi nangva pavattaram yam passe vajjadasam sinam Nigai Havadin Medhavin Tadisan Panditan Bhaji Tadisan Bhajamanas Seyo Hoti Nepapio Nidhi Nangwa Pavataram Yang Pase Vajjadasan Sinang Nidgai Havadin Medhavin Tadisan Panditang Bhaji Tadisang Bhajamanas Seyo Hoti Nepapio. Okay. Let us see the 
शरीर बैठा होति बिदम न नोट वहाँ पियो वर्ष वहाँ पियो मेंस वर्ष डेट मेंस व्हेन सांबोडी शोस यू फॉल्ट ट्रीट हिम लाइक वन हु डिग आउट हिडन ट्रेजर डिग आउट पॉइंट्स आउट टू हिडन ट्रेजर बिकॉज़ ही फाइंड यू फॉल्स विच यू डोंट नॉट सी नॉर्मली यू फॉल्स यू डोंट सी इट इज इजी फॉर यू टू सी द फॉल्स ऑफ अदर्स You cannot see the beam in your eye, but you can see hair in our others' eyes. Okay. One who should keep company with such a person, when you associate with such a person, he is a good, good friend, and learn from him. Don't turn your back to him. Listen to him. Learn from him. Then you will always will improve. Will become better. Never go down. Never become a worse person. So in order to improve yourself, associate with a good person who always. Shows your treasure, your treasure, hidden treasure. It means your mistake, your faults. Sometimes people, when they point out their mistake, they get upset, angry. Who are you to point out mistake? You have more faults. You accuse the person back, rather than looking at you, accept your fault, and follow his instruction. Try to improve it. Now. That is the message we get. Now let us go to the story. Now uh, let us listen to the stanza once again, chanted by this young man. Nidhi nangva kavatarang yang passe vajdasan sinang. निगैहवादिं मेधाविं तादिसं पंडितं भजे ओके नाउ लेट अस तादिसं भजमानस सेयोहोति नेपापियो Okay, this is the story. When Buddha was alive, it Savatthi, there was a very very poor person called Radha. So he did not have any means to live. He is very poor. So he went to the temple and started cleaning. Uh, the compound of the temple, uh, removing grass and uh, you know uh, sweeping the ground, and where there is no there are no flower for uh, uh, the plants, he uh, planted plants, and also took care of monks, whatever they need, he was. He helped them, uh, so he was not very lazy, very energetic man, but very, very, very poor. Then monks also in return gave him little food and whatever he needs, maybe toothbrush and so forth. He Uh, they helped him, so he helped them. They helped him. Uh, then one day, uh, 
he had him associating with associated with these monks, acquainted with them, and he liked monks' life. So he thought uh, of becoming a monk. Then he, he, he requested monks to order him. But uh, they did not order him. We don't know the reason, but they did not order him. But this, this yeah, poor man's Radha's uh, desire to become a monk was very, very strong. Unchangeable desire. One day, the Buddha, Buddha had a very wonderful habit. Every morning, with his supernatural eye, he surveys the world to see if there is someone that he could help. But also was always ready to help. So that day when he was looking a, a person to help, you know, help, he saw this, uh, this uh, Radha, Brahmin, Radha, poor man. Then he knew this poor man, if he gets ordained, he would become an enlightened person. He would become an Arahan. So, then the Buddha uh, went to the monastery and saw this man and asked him, uh, his his health, how he was doing, and so forth. Then he told him, when the person said, I have been associating with this monk, and I do this, this, is, they gave me food and so forth. But when I asked them to ordain me, they refused. They refused. Uh, but they gave me food and water and place to sleep. And sleep. Uh, I am I, not lack of them, but they don't ordain me. Then the Buddha called monks and asked uh, monks, uh, is there anybody, any monk, uh, who has got any a personal help from this man, any favor from this man. Then among them was Venerable Sariputta. Sariputta was one of the two chief disciples. Sariputta and Moggallana were two chief disciples. And Sariputta even uh, greater than even Moggallana. Anyway, whenever Sariputta was there, Sariputta was very, very famous for his gratefulness, gratitude. He was so grateful to his teacher, Asaji, from whom he learned the Dhamma briefly and attained the stream at the very first time. And since then, whenever Sariputta, every night, he turned his head to us where uh, Asaji was there and paid respect to him uh, before he went to bed. This Venerable Sariputta said to the Buddha when Buddha asked if there is anybody who has got any help from this man, any personal favor, Venerable Sariputta said, Venerable Sir, one day when I was going on arms food, uh, this man, although he was poor, he had the 
only very little food. Very little food. And he gave me a part of that food. You see, like one tablespoon of food he had, he gave half of it to this Venerable Sariputra. Then Buddha asked, uh, Then Sariputra, would you like to ordain him? Venerable Sariputra, Venerable Sir, I do it gladly. I do it gladly. So, Venerable Sariputta ordained this Radha poor man. So, from that onward, uh, that Radha, of course, is, uh, was coming from a very high class, high family, although he was poor. Uh, however, when even when he became a monk, he was young in ordination. He sat on the last seat. Uh, that's of course normally the way the senior monk first, then next senior to him, next senior to him, so forth. A junior and junior and junior. And since he was young, he sat down at the last seat. Uh, One day, when people went on offering food, uh, rice gruel uh, and rice and so forth, they were serving monks. Uh, then, since he was in the last seat, uh, he did not get any because other, when these people served food, when they came to him, food was over. Food was over. So, Venerable Sariputta said that this, this one doesn't get much food. Venerable Sariputta took him in his, uh, when he went on arms round, he took him with him. Uh, then, while he was taking him on his arms round, Venerable Sariputta always gave him advice. Rather, uh, these things you should not do, these things you should do, these things you, this way you don't speak, don't speak like this, don't behave like this, don't behave, uh, then behave like this, like that he was training on the way to arms round. Uh, and Radha, young Radha, Samanera Radha, became received high ordination and listening to Andhavar Sariputta, very soon, he became an arahant, enlightened person. Arahant Radha. So, Venerable Sariputta took him to the Buddha and uh, paid respect to the Buddha and said, uh, then Buddha asked, uh, Venerable uh, uh, Sariputta, Sariputta, how is your new disciple? How is your disciple? Is he obedient? Is he listening to what you say? Venerable Sariputta said, Venerable Sir, he is very, very obedient. Very, um, he, 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 uh, not only that, whenever I ask him, don't speak like that, he doesn't speak like that after that. You speak like this, he spoke like that. We don't behave like this. He doesn't behave like that. He was very, very obedient. Very respectful. When I say something, he doesn't get upset. He was very polite, very gentle, very kind. 
Venkata Sahari was, I never remember him getting upset or angry when I give him a title. Uh, <clears throat> then Buddha asked him, Sahari Buddha, if you receive students like him, how many of them you like to see? How many such students you like to see? Then Venkata Sahari Buddha said, uh, when the Messiah said, when the Messiah, I would accept any number of monks, any number, no limit, because this is a wonderful person. One day, when they were sitting in the uh, Sangha hall, the, the hall where they all sat and have discussion, uh, He said, hey, Brother Monks, uh, in this world, there are very few people who are grateful. Very few people. And they, when they receive little favor, they magnify it and talk about very highly about it as if we received a great favor. And um, then he said, This rather, when he was young, old, he was living in the temple and monks gave him leftover little food and uh, he would ask him whether he, anybody ordered him or not. He said he did not, nobody ordered him. When he asked him, I ordered and now this monk is very, very obedient, very grateful, very compassionate, very kind. Then uh, he, he listened to the, uh, what they were said. Therefore, when he said this, Buddha said, Sariputta, this is not the first time Radha became obedient to teachers, obedient to accept advices given to him and follow the advices and living. He gave uh, uh, gave a Jataka story, that a long, large Jataka story. He, he said, in short, even in previous lives, he did that. Okay. This is sangsarik habit. Habit he brought from previous lives. Previous lives also he was very gentle, kind, obedient, grateful. And that is he brought over to this life. And therefore whenever we develop hopes and things, that will not last in one life. That will go from life to life. And also when we develop all some things, in this very life, we attain, attain full enlightenment. Therefore, the Buddha said, when somebody points out your mistake, accept it as if he shows you a hidden treasure. When you have a written, hidden treasure, you become very rich. So you become very rich in virtues, morality, and you gain concentration, you gain wisdom, and you attain even full enlightenment. Okay, this is the message we have to take from this story. And now we go back to the uh, stanza once again. And then 
listen to this monk, young monk's recital, and then listen to my uh, line by line recitation, and then I want you to recite it. Okay? Okay. Let Nidhi Nangva Pavattaram <coughs> Yam Pase Vajjadasam Sinam Nikai Havadim Medhavin Tadisam Panditam Bhaji Tadisam Bhajamanas Sayo Hoti Nepapio. Okay, now listen to my old voice. It is like a broken record. Listen to it and try to repeat after me. I cannot make this young man uh, recite line by line, word by word, because he is old recorded that way. I cannot change that. But I can have that control in me, and I want you to learn the pronunciation, reciting, and then you recite it for me. Okay. Uh, I recite line by line. Nidhi nangva pavattarang Nidhi nangva pavattarang Yam pase vajjadasinang Yam pase vajjadasinang Nidhaya vading medhavin Nigayavadi Tadi Sang Panditam Bhaje Tadi Sang Panditam Bhaje Tadi Sang Bhajamanas Tadi Sang Bhajamanas Teyo Hotin Papio Okay, again, two line by two line. Nidhi nang vapavattarang yang pase vajjadasinang Nidhi nang vapavattarang yang pase vajjadasinang Nidhi nang vapavattarang yang pase Tadisang Panditam Bhaji Nigaya Vadim Medavim Tadisang Panditam Bhaji Tadisang Bhajamanas Seyo Hotin Papio Tadisang Bhajamanas Seyo Hotin Papio Okay. Now, <coughs> I like you to recite for me one by one. On the top, I see Kalina. Nidinan vapavattaram yang passe vajadasinan nigai havadin medhavin tadisan panditan bhaje. Very good, Mimi. Nadinam vapavattaram yam pasya vajjadasinam nigaya vadim medavim tadisam panditam vaje tadisam vajamanasya Sayo hodina papio. Very good. Anoma. Niditam pavataram yampase vajadasinam 
निगयवादिम मेदावीम तादि संपन्नितम वजे तादि संवजमानस सयो होति न पापियो ओके वेरी गुड पीपल इन द लाइब्रेरी सत्य <laughs> Can you hear? She left. Hmm? Can you hear? Huh? Can you hear? Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ini na pa pa vatram yam passe vajda sinam. निगयावादिंग तादिसंग पंडितंग बाजे तादिसंग बाजा मानस सेयो होती ना पपियो वेरी गुड इरो युकु आ निदी ना वा पा पावतारं यम पसे वाचा दासिनं निगाय वादि मेदाविं निवतार जमानी न पापियो जमान जे जमा स सेयो होती न पाप 
Pase Vajadasinam Nigaya Vadim Me Vadim Tadisam Panditam Baje Tadisam Panjamanasa Seyo Hotina Papio. Okay, Kandima Nidinam Va Pavataram Yam Pase Vajadasinam Nigga Yehava Dim Medavim Tadi Sam Panditam Baje Tadi Sam Bajamanas Seyo Hotinapapio. Good, everybody good. So now, uh, friends. Children, <laughs> nuns, <laughs> there are some nuns who are not here from Germany. Uh, Sri uh, Sampuna Kloster. I don't see them now. Anyway, uh, you all did very well. Now let us do some, let us meditate. That is a part of our Sunday school. Uh, we have very few minutes, and but we don't want to spend that time without doing some, without meditating. Therefore, I like all of you to join meditation. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Okay, you can see the screen? Not yes, different. but the same okay. screen. Huh? It's not different. It's not different, the same screen. Anyway, you can see the screen, right? Yes. Bante not the meta. Huh? Uh, we can't see the meta screen, Bante. It's okay. The... Okay. Now let us recite. Let me recite meta for you, and then we all uh, meditate in silence. May all beings be happy and yeah. secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will. Should anyone wish harm to another, as a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, sitting, Lying down, no whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here. Not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision. Removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. With this metta thought in mind, let us meditate at least for another. Uh, 20 minutes. You sit in comfortable posture. Close your eyes. Sit in upright position. Whether you are sitting on a chair or on a cushion. Keep the body straight upright. Don't lean against the 
support of your chair or wall. Sit straight and then close your eyes. Take deep breath and breathe out all air in your lungs. You have to do it very, very carefully because we, when we breathe out, we breathe out only 60% of uh, air. 40% remains in the lungs. And we have to remove all of them so that we have full capacity in the lungs to breathe in. So next time when you breathe in, you will have a lot of oxygen. That charge your all red blood cells and they go to heart, heart pumps throughout the entire body, recharging all the trillions of cells in our body. And then next moment, red blood cells depleted of oxygen, return to heart, heart pumps, lungs, and when you breathe in, we recharge the cells, blood cells, again. So this is the process we do all the time, always when we, when we breathe, whether we are in sleep or not, when we breathe, that's what is happening. And that way your lungs, uh, full capacity will open, your arteries will be, uh, will be dilated, and the blood flow will be very smooth. You gain good concentration, good awareness, mindfulness, become calm, relaxed, and peaceful. Keep this in mind and meditate for the next at least 20 minutes. Okay?
My means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the foolish, may I join always with the wise, until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering, may the fear struck be free from fear, may the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, friends, this is the end of today's session. And I want to share my metta with all living beings, especially those who are in hospitals, suffering from various sicknesses, taken care of by doctors, nurses, and hospital staff. May they all recover very soon and practice Dhamma, practice meditation, and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. And all the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff were taking care of these people, risking their life, sacrificing their comfort. May they also find time to practice meditation and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May all those who are in various trouble spots like war zones, discrimination, poverty stricken area, may they all find time to practice Dhamma meditation and understand the nature of life. May all those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, Southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, up and down. All beings in this ten direction also be well, happy and peaceful, and they all attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May you all have very, very wonderful day with metta, with practicing meditation, may you all attain Nibbana. With this, I end today's session. We see some of you next Saturday and all of you, all, all of you next Saturday, some of you next Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, sadhu. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. 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 Thank you